Hello YouTube. I want to talk uh, today about a very interesting phenomenon and I've been asked about it and I mentioned it occasionally in my other videos. Let me try to focus on it today. I'm talking about the Yamal's black holes and uh, what may be the dangers of these Siberian bubbles, as some scientists proclaim. So, in 2014, news agencies published photos of black holes near Yamal, which caused many hypotheses as to their origin. There were different assumptions and hypotheses. Some believed that it was a trace from the fall of a meteorite. Others believed that there, there was a strong underground explosion. There were also those who claimed the presence of aliens, extraterrestrial creatures or aliens from other dimensions. However, scientists took a little time to explain the origin of these Yamal bubbles, and let's hear scientific explanation without giving up on other. Immediately after the discovery of the first crater, the expedition of the Tumeni Institute of the Earth Cryosphere of the Russian Academy of Sciences went to the site. After studying a funnel with a diameter of about 50 meters near the Yamal base of uh, Bovanenkovo, scientists alternately or al al alternately rejected all hypotheses. At first, they rejected the hypothesis about the meteorite, as they did not find any characteristic traces of charring. Uh, then they rejected the hypothesis of human intervention, as they found no traces of equipment or other signs of the presence of people on the spot. Uh, don't think that they uh, officially rejected alien hypothesis, they just didn't talk about it. And they usually do not, except one in, in the Harvard uh, who talks quite a lot about alien presence on Earth. And like we say in Russian, the ice has broken. The chief researcher of the Tumen Institute, um, Leibman, said that it, it could have been formed during the mechanical ejection from the bowels of the Earth, referring to this strange black hole. This was due to the explosion of a cavity in which marsh gases accumulated due to an increase in pressure. Scientists compared the mechanism of the formation of a hole with a cork shot when opening a bottle of champagne. The public calmed down and lost interest in the Yamal bubble, but scientists continued their observations. Soon two more holes were discovered in Yamal. They were found in the Tazovsky district um, of the Yamal Ninetsk autonomous uh, region, 90 kilometers from the village of Antipayuta. In total, there were, there are now more than 7,000 so called bubbles in Yamal alone today. According to the director of the Northeastern Scientific Station of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Zimova, Siberia has the most impressive reservoir of greenhouse gases on the planet. The scientist believes that during the Ice Age, a layer accumulated in the thickness of the Earth, which is penetrated to the full depth by ice veins. This layer is called Edoma or Edoma, and its origin is associated with the vital activity of animals. Millions of years ago, mammoths, bisons, saiga, and other herbivores grazed on the lowlands of the northern part of Siberia. They ate the vegetation cleanly during the season, turning it into fertilizer with a high phosphorus content. With the beginning of warming, the ice veins of Edoma began to bear and melt. As a result, canyons and craters began to form. When filled with water, a greenhouse effect occurred due to which the holes increased in diameter and depth. At the same time, the microbes preserved in the Edom process organic matter into methane, which was released to the surface in the form of bubbles. If a solid layer of soil prevented the accumulated methane from escaping, an explosion occurred, similar to what was recorded near Bovanenkovo. The head of the last expeditions to Yamal, geologist and geophysicist, uh, Boga Yavlinsky clarified the scientific hypothesis based on the result of the research. 
He said that the ice layers were formed in the bowels of the earth. As a result of their melting, cavities are formed. They are filled with methane. The gas accumulates, increasing the cavity. As a result, heaving or bursting at the seams is observed on the surface of the earth. When the safety margin of the cavity runs out, a so-called pneumatic explosion occurs. Therefore, some scientists call the Yamal bubbles unique terrestrial cryovolcanoes. Only instead of magma, gas is spewing onto the Earth's surface. Previously, similar phenomena were observed only in space on the moons of Neptune and Saturn. Raising the bulge of heaving usually takes more than a year. Scientists consider the fastest bubble to be the one that appeared in the bed of the uh, Mudreha River. It was so powerful that it forced the river to change its course. At the same time, after the explosion, gas continues to be released to the surface for many years. Scientists failed to fix it, but the locals reported at least three cases of ignition of the gas coming out. Representatives of science agree that the Yamal bubbles are another reminder of global warming. Not only Russian researchers agree with this, the Scandinavian polar scientist Chris Forgil, Forgil is convinced that the Yamal phenomenon as markers of climate warming will appear more and more every year. At the same time, experts uh, of the Scientific Center for the Study of the Arctic warn uh, all adventurers that it is dangerous to approach the funnels because their edges are constantly collapsing and the depth exceeds tens of meters. To see the fresh funnels left by the Yamal bubbles is a great success. After a year or two, they usually are filled with water. There's a theory in scientific circles that the famous Yamal lakes owe their origin to the burst bubbles. Exploring water-filled craters is both more difficult and more expensive, so expeditions need to be equipped without delay. Moreover, technology allows us to quickly find traces of the Yamal bubbles today. So, a 25-meter sinkhole was discovered from a helicopter quite recently, let's say, in the summer of 2020. And a month later, researchers from the Institute of Oil and Gas Problems of the Russian Academy of Sciences looked into the abyss. Scientists not only conducted aerial photography of the crater by drones, but also launched a drone into the crater itself. This helped to create a 3D model of the black hole and confirmed the causes of its occurrence. So whatever caused the bubbles, that was millions of years ago. And of course, uh, you know, the, the planet is getting warm, according to some scientists. That's not uh, so good. But also, if the planet was getting cold consistently, it would be much worse, in my opinion, because to be uh, very specific and to the point, things don't grow, really don't grow when the cold weather sets in and the climate changes into ice age. But let's leave it like this. I presented the opinion of the scientists about this Yamal phenomenon, and we'll see what else happens in the future. And I'll continue to bring, it to, to bring you interesting stories from Eurasia, especially uh, Russia, China, and uh, surrounding countries as well. So if you like my research, please kindly support me. You will find how to do it in the description to this uh, video. And thank you for your attention to my work.